Hey, what's up all my freaks and geeks out there in YouTube land? Emgo here, and today we will be reviewing Revenge of the Fallen Voyager Class Bludgeon. So let's head to the table and check them out. So, here we are, and there he is. Another figure that I've really been waiting for. Um, at first I really didn't know if I, I wanted him. But once, you know, I've seen a lot of reviews on him already and a lot of uh, product shots. And, you know, I just kind of fell in love with it. And, you know, I pretty much said, all right, well, when he comes out, I'm, I'm going to get me one because, you know, he just looks too cool to pass up. Even though he wasn't in the movie, um, you know, I, I've kind of been, I, I, as far as the movie line goes, you know, my opinion is, you know, if he wasn't in the movie, then I'm not going to buy him. But, um, as far as him and Lockdown goes, they just look too cool to pass up. Even though they weren't in the movie, and they are in the movie line, I, I just had to get them. So, um, here is Bludgeon in his tank mode, which is very nice. The turret rotates. The turret's actually on a ratchet joint. I don't know if you can hear it click. But it is on a, actually a sturdy ratchet joint. And it does do all 360. Which is very nice. He has these four little uh, plastic wheels on here. Which actually do roll pretty well. He rolls pretty good. And as you can see under here, that's um, this is going to be his chest and this is part of his uh, skirt here. But, um... Other than that, you can't really see much robot parts under here. Everything's pretty well hidden. Got a Decepticon symbol right there. And another one right there, just for good measure. Just in case you missed it the first time. And, um, very nice. Very nice detail on it. All the paneling and, and uh, you know, vents here and whatnot. Very, very nicely done. A lot of people have complained about the, you know, the treads are, you know, the tread wheels are three different colors, so you got white, black, orange. It is, it, it does kind of, you know, put me off a little bit, but not by much. But, um, otherwise, very nice figure. So, uh, for transformation, um, it's better if you kind of rotate the turret like that, kind of gets, gets it out of the way. First thing you want to do is, you want to come down here. Pull out these treads here and just made out of rubber right here. It's only the end part here that's actual hard plastic. Let's pull those out. I basically just want to come here and just kind of get these panels if you can. Just gonna start to pull things apart here. Ooh, there you go. Basically, just want to take this panel, pull it back. Same thing here, take this, pull it back. And when you pull this part back, you get this little loop that comes out. And I'll show you what that's for. You just bring this up. I can just kind of take the legs. Oop, pull these down. Pull it down. You can take this little part of the skirt and lift it up for now just to get it out of the way. And now, what you can do is you can take this whole section, rotate it up like so. You can bring these legs in like that. Rotate them so the orange part is facing you. At this point, you can take these little uh, plastic bits here, these plastic parts of the tread here. You can fold them up and kind of get concealed here under these under these pieces. Come back here. Lift up this panel. You can see the foot in there. Stake it. Lift it out. You can bring that back down. You can bring this little bit, little panel here. Fold it down. And same on the other side. Flip the foot out. Panel down. You got his legs basically set up. Now you want to come up here, split this section in half, then you want to take these sections right here, take them, separate them, you can rotate this whole thing down, middle of the arms, little tab here, get a hold of it, flip out the hand, 
Take this panel right here, flip it down. Same thing here. Second verse, same as the first. Bring that down. And now you just take the top and the bottom, squeeze them together, and his head pops up. Now you can bring the skirt down. Kind of straighten this out if you want to. And there you have Bludgeon in his robot mode. Which is very, very, very cool. Of course, the one main gimmick he has, or well, one of the gimmicks that he has. You pull on the barrel here of the tank here, and you get this nice extra long sword. Very nice. You can pull it into his hand. Like so. Very nice sword. And here, I guess, is the Mecha Live feature. You just take this side of the tank right here. And when you do that, you get this little extra sheath that comes out. And you have another little knife. And I just like to put it in his hand, you know, in the classic I'm going to stab you in the heart <laughs> pose here. And I kind of like to leave it, leave the backpack like this, for some reason, I don't know why, but. That's basically all there is to him, I mean, it, it, very nice figure. Like the head sculpt. You know me, I'm, I'm, I, I like skulls, pretty much almost everything I own has a skull on it, so. The fact that there's a transformer out there with a skull for a head. It's one of the main reasons that, you know, I just had to have it. Because it just looks too cool. So we got a little 360 action going here. So you can appreciate them from all angles. Very, very, very nice. I would definitely recommend this figure. You know, if, if you're if you don't mind getting guys worn in the movie, you know, if you're not picky about it like I am, um, I would say definitely definitely pick him up. He he is a very, very cool figure. So if you find him, pick him up. I actually um much like lockdown, I found him at my uh at my local target. So he is out there. You just gotta look for him and maybe you'll get lucky and find one. I'm looking for mind wipe too. I think I might pick him up if I find him. Because he looks pretty damn awesome too. But, um, yeah, very cool figure. If you find him, get him. Because I think he's worth it. Very, very nice. And, uh, that's pretty much all there is to say about this guy. So, uh, there is Revenge of the Fallen, Voyager Class Bludgeon, and this is Emgo, rolling out.